Have you ever gone to a car show, seen a nice car, and you go to take a peek ski into the interior and notice it's an auto, <coughs> auto, <laughs> it's not a manual and your heart just sinks for a second? Now your entire opinion of the car has changed. You can't even look at it the same and it has now just become another car. You read the title, you already know what we're talking about. We're talking about the transmission that makes it easier to eat your food you got from the drive-through as you try to get it home. You can do it in a manual, you just gotta have some more skills, baby, you know what I'm saying? We're talking about the automatic. Being around for over 100 years, auto magics are nothing new. Autos are actually out there killing it right now, killing manuals off. They're more convenient, you don't have to learn how to use it, and it can shift faster than a manual. So you wouldn't buy anything but an automatic, right? Wrong! Autos have been getting from car enthusiasts for years, people hiding them under their shift boots, and even companies making shirts and stickers saying save the manuals. So why do automatic cars get so much hate? ton of awesome stuff by picking up some dope merch you automatically get entered to win artisan wheels continental tires and fortune auto coilovers i had fortune autos on my evo 10 and my focus st and i absolutely love them not only that but we're going to have a second and third place that will win prizes also every five dollars you spend gets you an entry if that's not enough for you with every purchase we will be making a donation to reach out worldwide so it all goes towards a good cause all that plus wheels tires and suspension at fitmentindustries.com. Okay, it's time to dive into the Prindle. You mean the Prindle? Anyone remember that from Zach and Cody? Sweet life of Zach, I know you do. We can just, we can skip over. Anyway, saying who came up with the first automatic transmission is as questionable as who Zizma really is. From Alfred Monroe in 1921 to Oscar Banker being referred to as the father of the automatic transmission, to Jose Arepi and Fernando Lemos developing the first auto using a hydraulic fluid instead of compressed air. It wasn't just one person there, there was tons of designs and it's still being improved to this day. But the first mass produced auto trans would be chalked up to GM in the late 1930s. The Hydromatic, which sounds like a move Blastoise would use, but anyways, it was in the Oldsmobile Series 60 and the Cadillac 60 Special. Nothing too crazy, but it offered convenience, which is just what the American people needed, baby. No longer would your left leg be getting a workout while you had to annoyingly select which gear your car should be in. Oh, no more. This did all that for you. GM was onto something though, because in 1952, Rolls Royce and Bentley would get the license to produce the Hydromatic in their cars. It was an absolute hit. Fast forwarding through time, we see manuals getting killed off of legendary cars left and right. Autos have become faster, have the addition of paddle shifters to still give you some control, and are more sophisticated than ever. The new 2020 Corvette, the Mark V Supra, the R35 GTR, the new GT500 Mustang, the new Audi R8 all have one thing in common, and you know what that is? That's right, I can't afford any of them. But also, they all come in auto. So with all technology advancements in the new sports cars only featuring the autopilot, why do us as car enthusiasts get our panties all in a bunch when we find a clean car on Facebook Marketplace in our price range and then you see it's automatic? Well, this one is actually pretty simple. The hate meter stays high on the good old autos simply because of our car enthusiast pride. We ain't here to play life on easy mode. Give us a damn challenge. There's something prideful knowing you understand how to drive stick and not only that, but someone that can do it well. Anyone can hop in an auto and drive off, but not everyone has taken the time to learn manual. Not that it's very tricky or anything, but just a little notch up, you know what I'm saying? I can still remember picking up my girlfriend nine years ago in my new to me Cobalt SS and thinking I was the coolest thing since sliced bread because I had to shift my car. Do that. Driving manual takes some level of skill and automatically, <laughs> even if you don't want to admit it, makes you feel like you're above someone in the same version of your car, but it's auto. The reality of it is no human can shift faster than a modern day automatic. But that's not what this is about. 
There's something about driving stick that makes you feel more connected to the car, give you more control, and is overall just a more enjoyable experience. My girlfriend Maya didn't initially want a manual car, but she caved and bought an SRT4 as her first car way back when, and she has fallen in love with it and would go on to buy a 2018 Civic Si in stick, of course, because he, once you're, you're caught by the bug, you just keep going. All three of my cars are manuals, and that wasn't on accident. I'm going to give autos a seven on the hate meter. They're more expensive in general when purchasing a car or maintaining them and no way you put it they just aren't the same as driving a manual what do you think would you get an auto or are you a die-hard stick driver comment below i'm going to read every single one and whether you drive on easy mode or legendary head on over to fitmentindustries.com for all your wheel tire and suspension needs all of them i absolutely love manual but i'd be caught lying if i told you i haven't considered an r35 or mark 5 super if i want to scratch off from quick trip down the road plus i've rode in a mclaren 720s and it was auto and it still made me almost shit my pants Again, I just, I think I like all cars, so, bye.